Hey, what's up? One of the most commonly asked questions I get is how do I know what to buy something for if I'm doing online arbitrage? How do I know if I'm going to lose money? You know, maybe the price seems good online in the listing, but after shipping, after fees, after any promotions you might have, it's it's not good and you're losing money. And if you're losing money, that is the worst way to do online arbitrage. So really quick video just showing you where this number is on eBay. You can use this same process on Amazon. Amazon has payout details. That can be a different short video. But for this one on eBay, because a lot of you will do online arbitrage, eBay to eBay or Facebook to eBay or wherever you're buying it. So you go to the order details page of something you've already sold. I'm checking out a game that I sold, uh, Super Smash Brothers Melee. Uh, this was sold November 29th. That's you know a game that's going to sell <laughs> all the time. I think it was listed for about a day and a half. So go to the order details page. It looks like this. Scroll down to the very bottom, uh, and you're going to see what the buyer paid which is $7.26, but or $76.26. But you're not making that. You're making that after fees, after shipping, uh, and after any promotions you might have. So what you earned is the really important part. So out of the order total, you got to take away sales tax. You have to take away the transaction fees. That's the eBay 12% fee and the 30% uh, payment processing fee. There's the label cost. And this is variable, but it's relatively similar for most items if they're video games especially and then finally if you promote your items there is the ad fee so after all that is said and done i made fifty three dollars and thirty eight cents so if i can buy this game for fifty bucks or forty five bucks or anything below that number i can reliably sell it for this price because i've sold them for this price before it happens quite often uh, and i'll make whatever that number is minus fifty three thirty eight not rocket science here, but this is a commonly asked question, and I wanted to make a resource online for you guys to see how you can find that number and use this for your own online arbitrage.